Hello everyone, this is Recon Stewart, and today I will be flying a 476 training mission, mission qualification training number two, with uh, my fellow trainee Spoke Jockey, and we're going to be doing some formation flying, and I'm going to teach you a little um, about some of the systems we need to know, including the TAD and the CDU, and uh, sharing and broadcasting speeds. So let's get going. All right, so I am going to show you how to set up a flight plan and change waypoint names. So you can go into the waypoint screen. You can do that one of uh, two ways. You can either come down here to your CDU, and hit waypoint. Get out of ground. And Through flight eight ten C one ship on shore of the active at Delta. LSK right one for waypoint screen, or. If you don't like using a CDO. Traffic Chevy 11 taking the for a real parker. Got a lot of radio traffic right now. Or if you don't like it, you can come up to your upfront controller, hit function 3 or function waypoint, and that pulls the screen up here on your uh, CDU repeater on your right MFCD. Just go ahead and hit waypoint. And so here we have the waypoint screen. So the first thing I have to do is set up and change the names of all my waypoints for my flight plan tonight. So I already have a pre-established flight plan uh, picked out here on my ops plan and DCS has a number of waypoints that are already built into uh, the server and uh, pre-planned pre waypoint points throughout Georgia that you can utilize. So what I'm going to do is type in some of those waypoints and then change the names to my benefit. So what I've done is I've gone into the controls, and I can't show you now because I'm in multiplayer, but I've gone into the controls and remapped all of my keyboard commands to their actual letters and all of the uh, numpad numbers to their numbers so I don't have to mess around with using this keyboard to type anymore or... Um, there's another way that if you don't want to change all, make all those changes, the default settings for using the keyboard to type and do numbers is to hold left control, left windows, and that will allow you to type. However, I wasn't using my keyboard for hell or anything uh, since my HOTAS setup and my voice uh, attack program. So I just changed it, and now I can type everything straight in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my scroll lock on my track IR there. Okay. So I'm going to type in my first waypoint, which is Lanak. You can see it auto-populates there. And I'm going to change my initial position to uh, Lanak instead by hitting OSB7. And that changes the uh, latitude and longitude coordinates to the pre-programmed uh, station of Lanak. After I type in Lanak, I want to create a new waypoint with this information. So I hit question mark waypoint 1, which is OSB 9, and it changes my waypoint to MSN 001. And that is exactly what I want. I want to change the elevation of MSN 001 to 4000. If I could hit the right OSB button which is OSB 19 nope oh, that's it's OSB 18 and that's my elevation so now MSN 001 is Lenox position but it's retitled MSN 001 and I've changed the elevation to 4000 so my next waypoint that I want to do is LAN B I'll go ahead and change it and it changes these coordinates here I'll create a new waypoint MSN002 and I need the elevation of LAN B to be 6000 okay and then my next waypoint is Moloch and I change it now watch this it'll change this longitude latitude and I need a new waypoint at Moloch MSN003 with an elevation of 12500 My next waypoint is LECP. And I'll change that. And I'll make a new waypoint at 
LECP, which is now MSN 004, 12,500 for that waypoint. My next waypoint is SMNB. Change it there, make a new waypoint. Elevation 12,500. Okay, and my next waypoint is Pashenka IP. PS.IP. Change that here, make a new waypoint. And change the elevation to zero. Actually, 66 fine. Um, but this one I want to change to the name to range IP and I can change the name right there so it stays as, as range IP instead of MSN 007 or 66 and my next waypoint is Pashenka range there we go go ahead and change it here make a new waypoint and elevation 77 that's fine I'm going to change this one to range nothing else Whoop. and change the name here to range and my next waypoint is again SMNB I'm going to go ahead and change that and make a new waypoint which is MSN 008 and elevation 8000 I'm next going to make uh, Sybin new waypoint 12,500 elevation Rumba new waypoint number 10 elevation is 7,000 and next waypoint Banut Banut Make it waypoint 11 and elevation 5000. And my last waypoint is the airfield at Gudata. And I'll leave all that the same, and I think I'll leave it as Gudata. All right. So now I've got all those waypoints entered, I need to create my flight plan so I'm gonna come down here to the CDU I'm going to click on flight point management and here's my flight plan I'm gonna turn it from auto step to manual step when I cross waypoints just a uh, pet peeve of mine and then I could create a new flight plan here with LSK left 4 but really I just want to change my current flight plan so I'll come up here to LSK right left 4 LSK right 1 and I will change my waypoints or my uh, flight plan with my new create newly created waypoints so I'm gonna make my first waypoint MSN 01 and it automatically populates and I click right here LSK left 2 and you see it changes then MSN 002 LSK left 3, MSN 003, LSKN 3, and now I'm out of room, so I'm going to come down here to my page up, page down button, and then boom, there I am, or I think I can use, yeah, my page up, page down on my keyboard, Zero, MSN 004, MSN 005 and my next waypoint is range IP so that's gonna be waypoint 6 page down and then my next waypoint is range and that's waypoint 7 and then MSN 008 is 8 MSN 009 is 9 now these waypoint names could have other things too like target um, IP fence in fence out 
I'm just using MSN numbers because they're just uh, turn points. They're not anything mission related. MSN 010. MSN 00. Right, right. 11. And waypoint 12 is. Gudada. Okay. Flight plan. I switch this to position. I hit LSK right one. Get out of traffic. Put a flight at 10C. Departing airspace. 30 miles to the east. Sip. Change this to ground speed so I can see my taxi speed. Alright. So if I come up here. I make HUD soy and I use DMS up and down to change my waypoints. You can see that my. Or I can use the steer point button here. Or I can use the steer advanced button right here. However, I like to do everything HOTAS, so I use my HOTAS. So you can see wishing waypoint one, and MSN two zero thinks one. he's got a green jet. Two copy, one has a green jet as well. And there is my flight plan all ready to go. One, I have visual. One, I'm saddled. Alright, so this is the message uh, function of the right MFCD. As you can see down here, you've got TGP, Mavericks, CDU, and message. Well, the A10 is actually capable of sending text messages back and forth to any planes on its uh, network, NetID. If you remember, you set your NetID over here on the TAD. You can see that my owner ID is 11 and my group ID is 74 for the 74 Flying Tigers and my wingman here in blue is 12 Spoke Jockey. I come back over here and I gotta uh, send a message to Spoke Jockey. So what I'm gonna do is I first have to identify who I'm gonna send a message to. So I click New Message, which it already is. And then I have to send uh, a message to. And how you do this is own ID and then group ID. So using my numpad, which I told you I already mapped, I hit 1274 for own ID, group ID, and then I hit 2. And back on. And that's just going to send it to flight 12 on group ID 74. I then can type any message. and I hit mod text here and it puts it here and goes down to line 2 and I hit mod text and it goes down here and you, I think you can have uh, up to 10 lines of text and I 40 characters per line? I can't remember exactly. And now, all I have to do is hit send message, and this will send a message uh, to Spoke Jockey on his MDT. And I'm going to have him send one back so you can see what it looks like. All right, Spoke, I sent you a message if you could reply. And message you did. And while we're orbiting the range, I'm going to change whoop, my map to expanded one and zoom out a little so I can just see the orbit that we are doing around the range here
perfect. Go back to my message screen. Alright, I've got a message from you. So you can see YouTube, it says new message. So I can acknowledge it by hitting the acknowledge button. Or I can acknowledge it via the HOTAS by hitting TMS left short. Which I'll do right now. And then I come up here to OSB2 where I have new, received, and cancel. I hit uh, OSB2 for received. And you see a message here from Spoke saying the CDU seems like the best place to look and he's referring to uh, when he's typing uh, in his messages and I can see who it's from and then if I want to send a new message I just click new I type in 1274 and there he is and then I can type him a message again and we'll go ahead and send that to him and I just sent that message alright Spoke I am going to send you my SPI if you would tell me that you're ready for it flip on my TGP here YouTube and find a suitable target these two uh, gunnery targets here look good I'm gonna set my speed with TMS up long I can change it from area to point track with TMS up short alright my speed is set and you can see that my speed is set because right on top of my diamond which is where my TGP is looking I have my white wedding cake which is my speed symbol and now I'm going to send that to spoke so that he knows exactly where my SPI is. Spoke, are you ready to receive my SPI? You didn't see my message, did you? Oh, hold on. <laughs> we'll learn to keep an eye on that too, don't we? Yes, we do. Spoke says SPI me. All right. <laughs> so, YouTube, I've set my SPI using my TGP and TMS up long. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use my slew control to come down to Spoke, who is 1-2. I'm going to TMS up short to hook him. And then as you can see, it says send 1274, which will send my SPI to Spoke. And all I got to do is hit this button once I have a SPI set and I have whoever I want to send the SPI to hooked. Cowboy 1, Cowboy 2, speed sent, confirming you received. Roger, and will code. Cowboy 1 copies, can you pick a different speed and send it to me? Roger. Okay, you should be getting it. I got it, thank you. All right, YouTube, so you can see I've got a new tasking, so I'm going to hit uh, left TMS short to get rid of the new tasking, and then I'm going to try and locate this SPI here, which is set way up here on the map. And so I'm going to highlight over the top of it, and I'm going to hook it by doing TMS up short. I'm going to come over here, and I can acknowledge spoke with Wilco, I will engage, or cancel, I will not engage. So I'll go ahead and hit Wilco. And if I come over here... I guess that's only from JTAX, so never mind. So now I'm got it hooked. I'm gonna TMS up long to set my speed. 
And now you can see my wedding cake right on top of the tasking that uh, Spoke sent me. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to coolie hat right once to get to my TGP. I'm going to coolie hat right long once to make it my soy. And then I'm going to China hat forward long to get onto uh, the same target that Spoke sent me. And of course... I uh, am masked by my wing here. And Spoke, I see, uh, looks like a road with a building and a smokestack behind it. That's it. All right. That is our target. Pick it up. <laughs> All right, Spoke, I'm now going to pick a new target and broadcast my speed to you. And then I'd like you to do the same to me. Right so I'm going to undo my speed using TMS back aft long. And then I'm going to hold China hat aft long to reset my TGP to my waypoint, which is the range. And I'm going to find a new target here for spoke. Go ahead and do this here. I guess it's a canister. Go ahead and set my speed. TMS up long. Speed is set. We'll come back over here. Cooley hat left long to make my uh, tad soy. You can see my speed up here in the corner. And what I want to do is hit speed off which will turn it on and it'll be broadcasting so he can pick it up on his tad or I can hold DMS left long and do the same thing which is what I'm gonna do now all right spoke I'm broadcasting my speed if you could hook it and tell me what it is I believe it's a cargo container, last 3148. You got it. If you could broadcast me a SPI, and I think we'll be done. I'll go ahead and turn my SPI off with DMS left long. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my SPI with TMS aft long. And I'm going to reset my uh, TGP to the waypoint with China Hat aft long. And there you go. All right, YouTube. DMS. So he's All now right. broadcasting yeah. his speed. You can right, see well, it's yeah, his it be because up, he's got a laser <laughs> to it here. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to hook his speed with TMS up short. And then I'm going to make a mark point. Or, um, excuse me. Uh, I could make a mark point with DMS right, uh, excuse me, TMS right short, but I'm just going to make my own SPI with TMS up long. You can see my SPI is now on top of it. I'm going to come back over to my TGP, China hat forward long to slave my TGP to that SPI. Copy, I have it, I'm masked, I'll tell you the target in a moment. And Cowboy 1 to Cowboy 2, it looks like you were requesting an attack on a factory. Roger. We went over uh, sending messages. We went over speed uh, sending through hooking and um, uh, sending to one aircraft. And then, of course, you can speed and then broadcast your speed so anybody in your flight group can get it. So if you have any questions, uh, put them down in the comments, and I can try and answer them as best I can. But I appreciate you uh, hanging out with us and watching that, and I think we're going to go hit the tanker now.
That is one contact, ladies and gentlemen. That is fantastic air-to-air -air refueling by Spoke. I can only hope it to be as good. Figured out what I was doing wrong. Right on. That's the pet. Are you gonna get back on here? Yeah, if you uh, you you go all the way full. I got enough to get. I got enough to fly. So you fill complete, and then I'll go over and fill complete. Copy. We're turning. Alright, I'm dropping off. I am at 10,900. Cabo one taking the left side of the runway. Cabo one two on the right. All right, that was the 476th mission qualification train uh, number two. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment or uh, send uh, an, me an email. Okay, uh, this is Recon Stewart signing off for the 476th. We will see you next time.